In this video tutorial, I'll teach you how you can create the login form in Spring MVC4. So we are using Spring 4 MVC framework. So in our login form, we have two fields username and the password if you click on submit it's going to validate the form currently this application is not validating against the database in future tutorials i will show you how you can add the database validation script in this uh, example code so let's see how we can create this form first of all we need to create the login form class we have username and the password two fields we are using hibernate validator framework to validate uh, the form we are using not empty annotation so it checks for the the value of a username and if it is not empty it will give the error minimum length is 1 and maximum length is 50 similarly the password field is also not empty and it should at least contain one character and maximum of 20 characters and then then we have controller class that is login controller which is in net.rosindia.controllers package this is uh, noted with the at the rate controller and request mapping is login form.html so in the get request login form is displayed we first create the object of login form and then put in the model and returns the login form in case of post it validates the form and if it has got errors it returns the login form and it in case there is no error it is validating that if login form dot username equals to the login form dot chat password so the two values should be matching in this uh, as per this validation like uh, if you are entering the username deepak the password is should also be the b deepak so in that case it will return the success form this is the login form java and we have login form which is submitting login form dot html then input username input password and submit button in case of success it is displaying the login message and then we have the gsv files here uh, login form is here and then login success is here then we have mapped the dispatcher servlet and the mapping of dispatcher servlet is in web.xml file dispatcher servlet and the servlet mapping to run the example you can right click run as then select run on server next and then finish so this is a login form so we need to enter the username as a value and then password so this way you can create the login form later on in this uh, tutorial series i'll show you how you can modify this code and add the validation against the database you can read thousands of tutorials on our website so visit our website and learn the spring and other framework tutorials thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel